to the Green Apple Home. I just wanted to share a technique with you that you guys may or may not already know because you guys are all smart cookies out there. But I just had it work again, so I thought, oh, I'll share it just in case you guys don't know about it or whatever. Okay, so it's called the Empty Shopping Cart Technique. Well, I've just named it that. Because <laughs> when you guys go to buy something online and you load up your cart, you should check for a deal online first, you know, 10% off, whatever, the coupon code. But it, sometimes you can't find it. So anyways, okay, you got your shopping cart full, and this is what you do. You go and act like you're checking out. So you fill in your name, you fill in all that information. You put in your email address, but you don't go to the step where you actually finalize and pay for the stuff. Don't put your credit card information in yet. And then you wait a couple days. And I guarantee you, well, like probably 75 to 80% of the places that I've done this at, within at least a week, I've gotten a coupon code back from that place. And so then I check out and get like more money off. For an example, Shutterfly. Shutterfly is an easy one. I don't think I've ever bought anything off of Shutterfly that wasn't like half off or free. So if you are into digital scrapbooking, which I need to be, but I mean, that's like totally on the back burner right now. <laughs> Look, I'm, uh, I'm getting my homeschool room like organized here, guys. I've got so many vlogs to catch up on that I don't even know where to begin hardly. Anyways, okay, where was I? Oh, Shutterfly, yeah. Empty shopping cart technique. Try it because it'll save you money. If it doesn't, it's at least worth a shot before you actually make a purchase because most of the times they'll send you a coupon code. So you finish your photo book or whatever, put in your cart, see if there's a promo code. If there's not, then wait. Check out to where your email address is in or whatever, or if you already have your, an account with them or whatever, then you don't have to put your email address in because they should already have it. But anyways, if you have it done and in your cart to check out, then wait for a while, wait, and they, I guarantee you, will send you some sort of a coupon. I've never, I've never had that not happen at Shutterfly. Amazon does the same thing a lot of times. Sometimes it's only 10% off, but I mean, that's better than nothing. Sometimes it's more though, because I just did something, um, I was looking into something called email, emails, and if you guys have heard of that and have tried it, let me know, because I was thinking about doing it because they like plan your menus for you so you don't have to really think about it which is nice, and they supposedly line it up with like deals and sales that are on in the grocery stores near you. So I thought it might be a good investment to try it because then it would take the guesswork and it might get in your family eating a more variety of foods, that kind of thing. Um, so anyways, I was going to check out. Anyways, I put the stuff in my cart that I was going to try, and I was like, eh, I'm going to leave it. So I left it. And I was just about to say, oh, they're not going to do it. And I just got an email that said, save 25% off with this coupon code or whatever. So if I wanted to do it, I could save 25%. That's a pretty big amount. Pottery Barn kids or Pottery Barn has never done this for me. Pottery Barn, why are you so stingy with your prices and your coupon codes? Anyways, that's your little tip for today. Hopefully I'll be getting more stuff up soon. Well, have a good evening. We'll see you next time on the Green Apple Home.